on this episode of Pawn Stars. Earlier, a guy came in with the Smith & Wesson Model 1 Series 1. It's all original. It's worth a lot of money. I have to make absolutely sure, so I called in a buddy to help us out. Hey, Craig, how's it going, huh? Rick, how are you? All right. Uh, this is what I call John. I own Craig Gottlieb Militaria, and I specialize in military antiques and antique firearms. Guys call me down when they have a question about an antique firearm, and I'll help them with uh, establishing uh, value. Smith & Wesson Model 1, the gun that could have been a Colt. Roland White, the patent holder for this cylinder here, used to work for Colt. Colt didn't like the idea, and so he went over to Smith & Wesson. They started to produce this, so basically what got Smith & Wesson started for the most part. Oh. The Smith & Wesson Model 1 was the first revolver that was loaded from the back of the cylinder rather than the front, which was safer and very easy to reload. What do you want to know, Rick? The barrel right here, the chrome plating is wearing completely different than the rest of the gun. You see how badly corroded it is here and not nearly as bad over here. Um, I don't know if the front barrel's been replaced. OK, basically, I can measure the barrel because it's got a specific length. OK. From the cylinder, we should get three and three sixteenth inches. Uh, we have one, two, three, exactly three and three sixteenths. That's good news. And then what we have, uh, you can see pitting where the original metal has been exposed. So I'm going to go ahead and say for certain that the forward portion has been refinished. OK. But the biggest thing is whether the grips are real. The ivory grips really do make or break this deal. But they have to be the original factory grips. They have to match the gun by the serial number. They would have done this in pencil. So we're looking at pencil here. That's a 47. And this is going to be, uh, it looks like a 41, but I'm going to go ahead and say it's a 47. OK. Because the ivory is certainly aged correctly. These are definitely the original grips to this gun. Great. Great. So the big question, what's all this worth? I would say that this gun is probably worth, as it sits, I'd say $1,000 to $1,500 is what this gun would bring. Not as much as I was expecting, but. All right, thanks, man. Rick, You're the best. Always a pleasure. Take care.